just set shit up. Maybe gotta tweet stuff out. Like click my own shit while it's loading up. I hear myself. Yeah, man. Baseball again, damn it. All right. Will I be there? Okay, copy. All right. We can tweet it out now. Take a look at the, the standings while, you know, whatever. Watch me in the future. There's nobody here now. Boycott Hallmark Channel. Well, what did they do that it pissed everybody off? And then log out and log into that one. Toronto guy, you have more than one Twitter? No. <laughs> I don't know. Let me, you know, let me use that hashtag. Let me, what, boycott hump? Boycott Hallmark Channel. There we go. Mark. Exclamation point. Don't know why. But why not? There we go. <laughs> yeah, man. There you go. If you want your shit to appear on Twitter in people's fucking feeds, you just use whatever's the top trend in the world and you add your, that, that, uh, that hashtag to your thing. All right. Sally, Sally, please move. It's my controller. You're not playing. Thank you. All right. Oh, man. Oh, man, the ear, the ear uh, headset input for my microphone is glitchy. I'm gonna have to get a new microphone eventually because it keeps popping in my butts. All right. Anyway, we saw that. There we go. We are playing the hashtag whores. All right. Okay. So how's everybody doing? Who's well? Freeman as well. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, who is a... Who is a... Usually a bench person? I think it's between Grant and Brazil. How's Daniel doing? Daniel is fit! Fine. Daniel. Alright. Uh... Jimmy came, so we'll put Daniel there. Uh, Freeman, well, I'm pretty sure Freeman was the first at that, usually. Uh, where'd Jimmy go? Uh, Jimmy came after me. So, Freeman, beer boy, Daniel. Okay, okay so what to say? Daniel's now select for, no, he's not a catcher. Shortstop or infield? Uh... God. AJ Grant. Daniel's not a who's Who the hell is a catcher, man? Okay, maybe I need Brzebibla back. I think he does catcher. Sorry, AJ. Brzebibla. Yeah, he plays catcher. There we go. Brzebibla. Uh, can swap with Daniel real quick. Now Daniel's in left field. Jimmy is also a fielder. So we'll swap those two. Now everybody should be happy. Secondary. Daniel's probably going to be like, Hey man, put me at shortstop. Freeman is the shortstop. Hello, Thomas Bezibide. Freeman is a patron. Freeman is the shortstop. Where am I at? Second base, that's right. So there. Now we're all fine. Everybody's fine. Fit. Good to go. We're good to go. Let's play. All right. Oh, I think it's a home game. Oh, seriously, man, the friggin' mic shit keeps going out. I should probably check Amazon for Boxing Day microphone deals. <clears throat> I mean, the mic still works, but I just don't... I need to hear myself, man. And that's where the big problem is, guys. Come on, man. All right. Playing the hashtag, whores. Obviously, I did not name the players on the hashtag horse. So whatever. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy, Nacho Crisp. All right. 
Who's pitching? Larry LaJoy. I don't remember if it was, no, I think it was Tarek Smith who got the no-hitter. Ah, that's right, Ronald, as in McDonald. Oh! Man, he must feel like a real piece of shit, man. He gets struck out by looking. You suck. Here's Rip Dingers. All right. Oh, he swung after across the plate. <laughs> oh, God, this pitcher is amazing. <laughs> Go up, man. He's going to do the fastball. Hi. Oh, another three pitch. Th oh, my God. Now batting number 20. Her, mo her own whatever Jackson. Damn. All right, Larry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, Larry. Well done. Holy, wow. What a friggin' inning. Here we go. Here's Gordon Freeman. Number Two three, home runs this season. Three, Doesn't have Toronto guy have like nine home runs? What's up with Freeman? Well, he sat on the bench a couple games, Toronto guy. Well, maybe he should stop getting injured. <laughs> Damn it. Gordon Freeman is, of course, a patron of your patron.com slash Toronto guy. As is Beard Boy here. So, yeah, what the hell did the Hallmark Channel do that now people on... Or, sorry, let me rephrase. What the hell did the Hallmark Channel do now that the retards on Twitter are calling for a boycott. Now batting, number 30. You know, whenever there's a, ha a, a boycott hashtag trending on Twitter, it's always these fucking delicates bloody hell. Damn. All right. I wasn't paying attention then. Daniel just like grounded out. Bubbles Garcia. A hurry. Freeman is back at shortstop. Right, it's Fred Bobbitt. <laughs> Bobbitt. I remember that John Wayne Bobbitt dude, man. His woman cut his dick off. Then they found it in the ditch and reattached it. And he did a couple porn movies, and I saw one of them. Dick looked weird. <laughs> and he couldn't get it up. But bloody hell, it was freaking literally removed from his body. <laughs> John Wayne Bob. And Freeman. And that's another three up, three down in it. We have a no hitter going on for both teams here. Here's Toronto guy. Eight home runs. All right, sorry. But yeah, eight home runs. All right, let's make it nine. Damn. Saw that coming down. Just don't catch that. God. There's Jimmy. Who we'll also hit the bench a couple, for a couple games this season. Got injured. Probably showing off. Check out his stuff at Punkstetic Art and Entertainment. God! Now I have to swing. <laughs> and you all, know, speaking of which, here's Thomas Bidibide back into the game. Oh no, he was in the game earlier. But he's back at catcher. Swung to her. Oh. I really want to stream a different game. Stream hockey last night. It was god off. Or, yeah, last night. Bloody hell. NHL 17 is the worst hockey game ever released. All right. Still no hitter going on for both teams here. Number 47, the first baseman. Come on, man. All right. <sighs> Stop thinking of a no hitter, man, because then it definitely won't happen. <laughs> Imagine two no-hitters in one season, because I'm awesome. All right. Now back. Boycott Hallmark Channel. The I mean, Hallmark. 
What would they have done? <laughs> They're their friggin' hallmark. Oh, he got fooled. I love it. How about fastball high and in, inside? Yes. Oh, man. We got a no hitter battle going on. Holy shit. All right. Santa Neck has been having a decent now season thus far. Number 28, the so maybe field. she can break this no hitter streak going on. Of course not, you know. She's about to, this is her downward spiral. Oh. Femi McTinney, I believe, leads the league in batting average, so come on, Femi. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, that was, come on, man. Here's Larry LaJoy, the pitcher for Corona. Come uh, on, well, Larry. There you go. End the inning. Damn it. Let's get to the top of the order next inning. And both teams, bloody hell, after three full innings, we got a no-hitter going. <laughs> Come on, man. This is not cool. Oh, God, it went right by it. I love it. All right, well done, Freeman. Now batting, number 90, the third baseman. Oh, I love that. <laughs> All right, come on, man. Oh, what a duel we have going on now in this back, game. Number 23. Heronius, Heronis, Heronis, whatever, Jackson. All right, let's go like this. See if this will work. No, that's not supposed to happen. All right, there goes the no-hitter. <laughs> Fine, now we can actually focus on other shit. God. Not cool, man. Yeah, couldn't watch Ant-Man and the Wasp later, man. As part of my third marathoning of the Marvel movies this year. Skipping Captain Marvel. Fuck Captain Marvel. Or from Infinity War Friday night to Ant-Man and Wasp. Did not Damn it! What kind of dive was that? Is that me? No, that was probably Daniel. Alright, here's Bubbles Garcia. Got a runner on first. Alright. Oh, less than a month away from my three weeks off. All right, can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. Now batting, I'm gonna rearrange my bedroom. I'm gonna put the bed in a different place and put the dresser in a different place. Yeah, I'm gonna do that shit. All right, screw your no hitter too, bitch. Well done, Freeman. Go oh, Nexus Beard Boy. He's a patron, patron.com slash Toronto guy. Call him Beard Boy because he called himself the Beard of Nemophilus, and Nemophilus is a ridiculous word, so I just call him Beard Boy. God damn it, double play coming up. All right, Daniel. Now back, number 30, the first baseman. You can do it. Oh, I thought I had that. And Daniel! Boo! Hey! It's not cool, man. We're all doing poorly. Now batting number 53, <laughs> right. the second base. Oh, damn. Well, at least I do have it on stream, getting that no-hitter. What a game that was. Run faster. God, why are they, I guess, uh, yeah, maybe, because I did raise the difficulty, I guess not only do I need to do more work in actually catching the ball, but maybe actually running. Yeah. Go camping. 
Now back, number 31. Look at Buddy scratching his ass with the ball. <laughs> oh, what a catch by Freeman! That's the first jumping catch I've made. Let me see that on delay. I'm not going to push it. Oh, Freeman. Freeman's back, everybody. Here's Toronto guy. See how that, let's see if that inspired Toronto guy. Oh. Come on, Freeman. Well, obviously, that was obviously that Freeman didn't do enough to inspire me. Oh, well, but still a great catch. And he is a patron at patreon.com slash run. As is Jimmy here. Also known as Punkstatic Art and Entertainment. Why'd you swing at that, Jimmy? It's too high. All right, here's Thomas Bezipide. Two home runs, nine RBIs on this season. 0 for 1 in this game. Up the middle, well done. I think it's Nectar coming up next. I mean, Nectar started the season really well, man, and she's now, batting, now slumping. The center field. Let's give Thomas a head start. Why'd she swing at that? It's too high. <laughs> All right. Still got more time. Ah, it's a defensive now duel going on here. Yeah, you would swing at that. Yeah, leave. <laughs> All right. Now batting number twelve, the shortstop. <laughs> God, look at this dude. Seriously, he looks like a the 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 cardboard box that McDonald's puts their large fries in. <laughs> the red and the yellow. Damn, I haven't been to a McDonald's in so long. I haven't even used any of those uh, touch screen ordering machines that they have. I've never used any of them. That's how long it's been since I've gone there. Now batting, number 90, the third baseman. Yeah. And I have a McDonald's literally right across the street from me. <laughs> That's open 24 hours. Yeah. Look at these fries. Wow, well, shit, I wanted to make, that was me, right? Yeah, the white dude, number six, I wanted to make me die. Probably would have missed it, but still it would have been spectacular. Okay. Why didn't he let, all right. Run on first, one, two outs. Okay, keep it out of their distance, man. They're starting to hit them. There we go. High and out. <coughs> All right, Femi McTitty, man, she leads the league. Well, probably not anymore. Batting. In batting Number average. The right field. Oh, too early. All right, well done. Femi's fast. I'm going to make her steal. Right. Here's Larry LeJoy, the pitcher. Number 35, the pitcher. So let's get Femi to second so this dumbass doesn't hit into a double play. All right, well done. All right. Oh, well done, Larry. Get back to second, Femi. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at them showing off with that shit. Now look at the delay. I want to see that again. God, they could have gotten a concussion if they were that was real people. They would have banged heads. Here's Freeman. I wonder if I can get Femi to steal third. No, I'm not ahead. I'm, I'm not winning the game. If I was winning the game by enough, I'd try it. Femi! Freeman with a nice bobbly hit. Femi heading home. And Freeman with the game tying RBI. Well done. Well done, Freeman. Freeman is back. He made a spectacular catch. Not a, not too inspiring, unfortunately. But damn, well hit. RBI. Ties the game. Here's Beard Boy. 
Let's give Freeman a head start. Oh. Got it. No, it's not got enough. All right. Hurry. Hurry, Freeman. All right. Come on, Daniel. You're doing well in the league, too, and batting. Why are you sucking today? Yeah, I thought so. What are they throwing at? Oh, hurry! Oh, Freeman almost made that shit. Damn it. At least we tied the game. All right. Here's Irene. Whatever. Fast. Okay. Can't wait to watch Ant-Man and Wasp tonight, man. I watched that for the first time only a couple weeks ago. Loved it. I, I love Ant-Man, and I love Ant-Man and Wasp more. Love the story. The humor. Great. Ant-Man. Ant-Man was one of the original Avengers in the comics. Yeah. Because I've been reading some of it. So Ant-Man, in the next phases, I say Ant-Man, Doctor Strange, uh... Uh, uh, Sam Wilson, uh, uh, buddy guy, Falcon, and Hawkeye need to be like mega important, like the top dogs in the new phases, like the Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America. I think Ant Man's in. But ultimately, I think Doctor Strange should be the Tony Stark of the new phases. He should be the top guy. He should be the one who, in the final episode of the new phases, like, dies and everybody cries in the theaters. He should be that one. Doctor Strange. All right. Toronto guy coming up. Now batting. Number six. The second baseman. Number six. That was my hockey number when I played hockey when I was a kid. So every time I look at that blast, every time I freaking play a sports game and create myself, I'm always number six. There we go. Toronto guy. That's the story of number six. All right. Yeah. Ninth home run of the season. Takes the lead. See? Toronto guy was inspired by Nova. Here's Jimmy. Three home runs in one game last season. Toronto guy, of course, did that this season. I keep forgetting to mention it because, you know, Toronto guy's not exactly full of himself. Thomas Zed there. Okay, there's no one on base. All right. Off there. Run, Thomas. Faster. <laughs> All right, come on, Nectar. Almost nailed him in the friggin' arm. All right, Nectar's fast. Femi McTitty's up next. We're gonna have Nectar steal. Now batting number 69, the right field. So it'll limit their options should Femi not hit it too well. All right, good. All right. Are they doing this on purpose? Are they intentionally walking Femi? They are! Holy shit, they're afraid of Femi McTitty for crying out loud. Oh, that's because the pitcher's up. God damn it. <laughs> Smart. That was very intelligent of them. Look at that shit. <laughs> Those bastards. <laughs> oh, they friggin' played my ass. Son of a bitch. Well, at least we got the lead. All right. Batting number 47, first base. You know what? We have the lead. I could have switched. I could have put in a pinch hitter. Why didn't I think of that, idiot? Yeah, see him scratch his ass. He actually scratched it open handed, palmed and shit. Like he grabbed and scratched. Damn it. Tying one aboard, here comes Stallion Johnson. 
What a great name. Shit. Stallion Johnson. It's a porn name. <laughs> oh, look at him. He almost fell over missing that shit. Hurry the hell up. Shit. All right. Oh, I guess the answer right. I'm supposed to help them out, man. Four, man. All right. I keep forgetting. I keep expecting the game to do take care of that shit for me. All right. Oh, I love when they miss completely. It's awesome. All right, Nectar. Do I need to help her out here? Probably. All right. Someone's stealing. I wasn't paying attention. All right, back to Nacho Chris. McDonald's, man. The French fry box. Tying run is now at third with two outs. Who is this guy, anyway? Okay, he's not a pitcher. Well, if it was a pitcher, they would have freaking swapped him out. Definitely. All right. Okay, get him out. There's two outs. Tying run is at third. Do I dare do this? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, at least I didn't wimp out and freaking intensely walk anybody. I earned that shit. Here's Gordon Freeman top of the order. Who's injured? Out of position? What? Oh, thank God it was a ball. It's for them. It's not for our team. Too late. Why are you swinging at that? That was going to be a ball, Freeman. Oh. Raiders Beard Boy. Number 20, the third base. Come on, Beard Boy. This foul. Good. Shit. Come on, Beard Boy. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> finally <laughs> oh fine alright here's Daniel whoa hey he's not cool man come on Daniel <laughs> Daniel of course is the new guy thus he gets ball busted by the ball busters oh well he just freaking put me in my place alright here's Toronto guy let's see Daniel steal See if Daniel's fast. How fast is he? Well done. All right, whatever. <laughs> oh. oh, I was about to go four on that shit. Why would you swing at that clown? Come on, Daniel. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, Daniel. Next season, you'll no longer be the new guy. Yeah. Doesn't mean the fans aren't going to boo you. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, I got caught looking. Oh, this guy got a home run. Top of the ninth. Should I bring in a new pitcher? Uh, let's see how this guy does against my guy. I can get a guy to get a save. But Larry is doing pretty all right for himself. It's not like they've got a ton of hits and shit. All right. One more out. Don't need to bring in a new pitcher for one damn batter. Assuming I get them out. All right, Larry. Well, oh, crap balls. Well, that was Toronto guy, man. Present, see that? I prevented an inside the park home run with that dive. All right, run around first, two outs. It's still a strike. They're stealing. All right, whatever. Oh, they're just doing what I did, man. 
limiting my options. All right, come on, Femi. Why aren't you running faster? There we go. All right. And we win. What a defensive battle. Five hits to seven. That's the kind of games I like, man. Not these blowouts. All right. How many strikeouts my guy get? Larry got nine strikeouts right on. His win-loss record is now 5-0. and But then again, look at my team's record. We've only lost three games. Larry LaJoy, the first star. Toronto guy, the third star. Second star doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Let's get another game going. Oh, it's going on 1 o'clock now. This is when I usually start the streams. But Ant-Man and Wasp, man. It's a great movie. And then Endgame. It's all part of my Movie Buddy series. And then I'm not going to do Far From Home because, yeah. Far From Home was really just one long end credit scene. As far as I'm concerned... The phase has ended with Endgame, the end. Yeah. Far From Home is the epilogue. It's saying, Spider-Man's going to play an important role in the new phases, so we got to make a movie about him. But I think the next one is Black Widow. Definitely going to see that. People are like, oh, Black Widow made the everlasting... Uh, the everlasting thing by jumping in the thing to get the soul stone. Yeah. You know who else should have made an ever you know who else made an everlasting deal and they brought back? Fucking Gamora. So they broke their own friggin' rules already. Alright. Who who are we playing next? The candy asses, the seven and ten candy asses. Alright. How's everybody? Freeman is still well. Well, he's not strained or nothing. Beard boy is juiced. Fit. Thomas as well. We'll keep him in. Everybody's fine. Chasey Kim is pitching. All right, let's go. It's an away game. Yeah. <laughs> I got eggnog today, man. Yeah, I love eggnog. I love eggnog season. Of course, I cooked with, or I baked with eggnog. If you'd like to see it, check it out. It's an episode of Toronto Guy Cooks just, I think, two weeks ago. Eggnog chocolate chip cookies, man. That recipe makes this big friggin' hunk of friggin' cookie dough. Like, bloody hell. You can eat that shit raw, and I did. <laughs> All right. Here's Gordon Freeman. So check out that recipe. It's simple. If you love cookie dough. Check it out. Eggnog chocolate chip. Come on, Freeman. Freeman! I have to swing. Freeman? No way. Colors in this stadium are very uh, hard. Not as in bad, but very bright, right in your face green. The field and the, the dirt, and the infield is. Yeah. There's Daniel. Boo! Oh, you have, to, you have to expect that, Daniel. It's it's, it's an away game. <laughs> yeah. Inside. Oh, come on, Daniel. You can do it. Why did I swing? Yo, he swing at that after that shit. Too late. Oh, dang. <laughs> All right. Alexand oh, I did name these players. Here's Alexandria Cotard, or Cortard, of the Candy Asses. I thought I would have put her on the progressives. I wonder if she's on two teams. Oh, shit. What? 
That glove, let me look at the delay. That my freaking glove was it went through my glove. Now batting. It did it, or no, I look I think it bounced over my glove. Son of a bitch. Here's Barney Sanders. God. There goes the no hitter. <laughs> oh my I think I just heard a player say shit. Here's Orange Man. What the hell is happening? Who is pitching? Okay, it's not the no-hitter one. Okay, calm down and focus, man. Bit of crazy luck at the beginning. We can still do it. All right. Remember, there's a runner on second, so they're going to try to run for third. All right. There's Christy Chris. All right, get ready to throw a third, man. There we go. Keep him honest. Okay, now we have a chance. We have options now. Here's Spitz. I never named this one Spitz McKinney. Must be a former bench player. <laughs> Spitz McKinney. All right. Come on, man. We got this shit. Yeah, they run faster when I move forward. Them. Oh, I should have dove earlier. Still would have missed, but it would have looked like spectacular. Oh, we survived. Oh, what great pitching by me. Up the bat, out the bat next is Toronto guy. Boo! Oh, I see Daniel brought his crowd with him. <laughs> All right. Come on, Jimmy. Number 10, the left field. Oh my god, swung right through that shit. Inside. Oh man, it was not coming down. Shit. All right. Up next is Thomas Wizard there. Number 15. The catcher. Inside. Ball. Oh, too high, but it was too juicy to not swing at it. Way to go, Thomas. Three up, three down again. They got a no hitter going against this man. Here's Hillary Clintard. The left field. Yeah, it's left fielder. If there's anyone who's fucking left field, it's fucking her. And people are still saying that she's probably she might run for another title shot. <laughs> she really wants to be a three time loser? <laughs> God. Yeah, go camping. Now batting. What? Number Sloop three, Whoopity. Sloop Whoopity. All right. I didn't name this person. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, it's going to low it in on the fastball. Yeah, you would swing at that. There's Rudy Giuliani ass clown. Yeah, really Giuliani, man. <laughs> that guy's a fucking loser. <laughs> I don't care if he is honest. He just comes off as a fucking dumbass. Ah. All right. Go scented nectar. Now batting number twenty. Come on, nectar. Ah, uh, say that. Uh, yep, right on the side. Oh, come on, please. Okay, that's good enough. Sent to neck. Where's she going to try to go? She's fast, but how is she not fast enough to get the third? All right, coming up next is, uh, yeah, Femi McTitty. Now batting number I wonder if I should space these two out because they're fast. Now. Well, at least Femi got nectar over the. Uh, third. Here's the pitcher, Chase and Kim. 
All right, Nectar, get ready, get ready, get ready. Run. All right, just like Daniel LaRusso, you're the best around. All right, so now we got the, we're on the board, so we got the lead now. Here's Gordon Freeman back to the top of the order. Gordon Freeman is a patron at patreon.com slash Toronto guy. That's why he's on this team. Oh, man, I was hoping it would go past it. Shit. At least we got a run on the board. Elring Elwood. I did not name this player. Oh, it's a pitcher. All right. Yeah, that hockey shit was just awful last night. Can't believe how bad that game is. And I really wanted to play some hockey games. No outs, all right. The dude standing on the base. Oh, come on, Daniel. Obviously, it was meant for you to catch. <laughs> Here's Alexandria Cortard back up. Hey, Nectar, apparently it's yours. There we go. Now batting, Arnie Sanders. Well, one thing I did here is that uh, Bernie Sanders endorsed Shank Uger, and then a bunch of Bernie Sanders fans came out and said, like, hey, man, check out this shit Shank Uger did in the past. And then Bernie Sanders took back his support, and Shank is like, well, from now on, I'm not going to take any support endorsements from anybody. <laughs> Who didn't think that side was going to start eating themselves? Bloody hell, come on, man. In my movie, buddy, of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Son of a bitch. Jump, Nectar! Anyway. In the movie Gal Garden Nexus Guardian of the Galaxy 2, I implied that the, those golden beings from that planet were like these fucking idiots on Twitter. They think they're so fucking perfect. If you offend them, they'll they will literally try to fucking kill you or have you just banished. Like bloody hell. So of course they were gonna go after their own. And that's why they're going to lose. Because they're not trying hard enough. You know, when they tr when they Tell people that, you know, if you vote for Trump, you're a Nazi and a racist and shit. They're not implying that hard enough, you know. You know, they need to do that more. Fucking morons. Stop talking politics. Looks what fucking happened. Shit. <laughs> you know what I mean, man? I mean, people are shocked that that freaking shit happened over in the UK this week. Now the conservatives won a majority after being friggin' told that if they anyone who voted conservative was a Nazi and a fascist, like bloody hell. Don't be surprised if the Democrats lose in 2024 as well. Who knows how out of hand it's gonna get? So imagine Trump wins next year. Now batting number 20. You really think the fucking Dems are gonna stop screaming impeachment? <laughs> <laughs> for that four it's years, not. give me a break. They try again, they could be screwed for 2024. Yeah. Oh, Beard Boy should have let that go. It's three balls, man. Shit. There's Daniel. Boo! Oh, oh, Daniel's own people are booing him. <laughs> Oh, Daniel just got robbed. Oh. Boo. I, exactly. Bloody hell. Here's a Toronto guy. Want, let, watch me show you how. Watch me show Daniel how it's done. See? Look at that shit. See? That's how you do it. All right. Here comes... Spitz McKinney. Number 14, the right fielder. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited about my eggnog. I want eggnog, man. Oh, right over the dude's head. Hillary Clintard. Let's try this. Let's go middle and then down. 
Oh, I thought we had his ass. Can I see that? Let me look at the delay here. Oh, it was so close, man. Damn. All right. Shit me, that would have been a strike on me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at Daniel jumping in the air. <laughs> there we go. Go away. See that? Really, Clintard had a fucking nutsack. Your sloop whoopity. All right. Got a runner on second, one out. Don't forget that shit. Oh, damn it. Did it too late. Ball sacks. Son of a bitch. Here's Rudy Julie Asclaw. Run on first. Try to get the double play. Shit. There we go. What the hell is happening? We can't lose to a team called the Candy Asses. Now batting. Number 36, the pitcher. Oh, come on. Come on, Femi. Oh, hey, we're still in third. Oh, Femi made it. Holy shit. All right. Run on third, two out. Get this clown out, please. They're stealing. Oh, who cares? They're out. They tried to steal third. All right. Here comes Jimmy. Now Three home ones in one game last field. season. Oh, well, maybe next time, Jimmy. Thomas Bezebeblah. Well, come on, Matt. Well, we're failing miserably. Come on, Thomas. There we go. Finally. Yeah. A stomach growl. Because I want now that thing on. Number twenty-eight. All right, the here's Nectar. Field. Well, Thomas isn't fast enough to steal the second. Inside. Could hit into a double play here, man. No. I want to have this base run. All right. Femi McTitty up next. There's no outs. Femi McTitty, I believe, it leads the league in batting average. They're going to walk her and bring the pitcher up. Well, the rest are going to pitch to her. All right. Crap balls on a stick. Oh, well. At least we got moved over. But we can't get into a double play. The pitcher. Get out of here. All right. Who are we going to bring in? Contact. Guy Gold. Dick Burger. He's got power, but his contact sucks. Uh, let's give Grant a chance. All right. Number three. Oh, damn. I thought it might have been too high. Oh, my God. Does it have enough? Son of a... Run home! <laughs> I thought that was going to be gone. NJ Grant comes off the bench and ties the game for the ball busters. Back to the top of the order is Gordon Freeman. Holy shit. I thought that was gone. That's why I didn't bother checking, making anybody else run. Shit. What a way to tie the game. Oh, well, at least we're tied. Oh, I thought it was gone. I was just watching in awe. Damn it. All right. Give me a relief pitcher. Thunder Chump. You got a cool name. Let's bring you up. Right. What a comeback. There's Barney Sanders. I think he got a home run, it said. Well played by Toronto guy. All right. Orange man. Oh, Freeman. 
Oh, throwing it home for shit. Oh, that was that was my mistake. Now batting number twenty-five, the catcher. Damn it. Oh, well done, Jimmy. <laughs> or that was Beard Boy who jumped. Jimmy's out too. All right, well done. No, don't do the same pitch there. Keep it low and in. Fastball. There we go. All right. Two outs. Okay, good. Got one on second, man. That double with my ball, man. Cool. All right, let's go. Yeah. All right, and they've taken the friggin' lead, have they? What a miserable fucking shit ball play that was by me. <laughs> Didn't need to dive. All right, no, son of a bitch. That's only the fifth inning. Here's Clintard. Yeah. Grant's off the bench heroics may have been off or not. There we go. Oh, what a failure that was. Is that an error? How did we not get an error in that inning? Here's Beard Boy. Beard Boy says he's juiced. He's 0 for 2. Come on, man. That was out of the, that his freaking chin. Why did he swing at that? That was going to be a ball. Son of a bitch. Here comes Daniel. Yay! See, Daniel? Yeah. <laughs> that was my people being respectful. Right. Oh, does it have enough on it? How's the rent in T.O.? Oh, the apartment I currently live in, I've been living in since 2012, and I'm still paying less than I than my starting rent was when I was in Newmarket. So, I think it's fine, because I've lived in more expensive places. Now batting, number three, the second baseman. Ugh. Well, it's not going to be like that forever, man. Eventually, because my rent goes up every year. So eventually it will reach that more mark. So, yeah. But I remember when I was living in Newmarket, and I was hearing people say, Toronto's so expensive. Blah, 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 blah. I was laughing, thinking, bloody hell, try living up here. Yeah. How about this? Fastballing up. Get up in it. We're stealing. Come on, man. No, we're not fast enough. Here's now Eli Elwood or whatever the fuck his name is. Getting any good PS games for Christmas. Uh, I have downloaded some games recently that I, some I just started playing, others I haven't played yet. Like, I downloaded um, Ghost Recon Breakpoint because I'm a big fan of Wildlands. I have um, Hitman 2 Ultimate Edition, which was on sale for Black Friday, so I have that now. Yeah, but I'd like to get the new Star Wars game, but I'm not paying 80 bucks Canadian for it. Look at this shit. And Scented Nectar almost broke her net diving into the friggin' wall. See that? That was a female who just hit the wall. <laughs> Scented Nectar is a contributor of recipes for Toronto Guy Cooks. That's why she's on this team. Bloody hell, 6-3. to three. What, a fa what a miserable shit. And there's a bunch of other games that I've had for a while that I haven't started at all or barely played. I have Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Haven't touched it yet. Assassin's Creed, um, the one where they go to look for the Egypt and shit. Played it a little bit. 
couple more Assassin's Creed. I've done nothing with it. Now I have uh, The Walking Dead the left Season field. 1 or something in Game of Thrones. I haven't, like, I have shit that I'm, I, I buy sh and that, you know, gotta stop that shit. Now oh, it's the Nesca Servalier? I have no idea. But I did hear that uh, Sheer resigned last week. Other than that, no, I, I don't know. I don't read the papers. I don't have cable. I stay out of it as much as I can. Because it bores the fuck out of me. I agree, man. You see what happened over in the UK this week, man? And I was seeing Twitter before the vote. Oh, they're going to walk Femi McTitty in order to get the picture up. <laughs> oh, my God. But yeah, I remember seeing before that UK vote this week how friggin' so confident the Democrat, no, the liberal man. side was. Number and then they lose, and suddenly, the well, they didn't just lose, they got fucking lost handedly. Suddenly, oh my god. Uh, the world's coming to an end, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, maybe you motherfuckers should stop threatening to fucking label no, people as, ra as no, fascist and Nazi three. if they sure. vote a certain way. Because all you're going to do is make them vote that way. Out of spite. Damn it, bases were loaded for Freeman. Now and that's what they don't get, man. The third base. They're trying to, to, to threaten everybody. No, they are. They're, they're, they threaten people into voting their way by saying, if you vote, if you vote that side, we're just going to call you fascists and Nazis and blah, blah, blah. And then they get fucking surprised when they lose. And they blame bots and Russia and all this. I'm like, come on, people. And the media, knowing that it's all bullshit and ridiculous nonsense, runs with it because they know there's viewers there who will fucking watch. I know because I work in media. We're assholes. I shaved my head. I shaved my head when Jay got caught joking about Trump behind his back. Yeah, I, I have no problem with him doing it. The problem I have is that Come on, man. Stop claiming you're this fucking pristine motherfucker when that footage there proves you're just like any other asshole walking the street. Admit you're just like anybody else and I'll have more respect for you. I know he got caught. And then I didn't see his response to it, but I'm sure he tried to come off as... <laughs> as possible. When he's not. He's just like anybody else. Now and that's why I like Donald Trump, because he doesn't season. act like a fucking fraud. He doesn't put on this Inside. fake fucking screen when he's, when behind the scenes he's really somebody else. No. I think Donald Trump is this, is what we, what you see is what he really is. Whereas Trudeau, obviously not. But just admit you're not, motherfucker. Be a fucking man. God. I mean, I have no problem with his blackface shit. I don't care. I wouldn't give a shit about people who do it today. Oh, who the hell was that? That was Daniel. Boo! Oh, come on, man. He just hit a two-run home run. <laughs> well done, Daniel. Now we're only down by one. Yeah, Trudeau, man. He's no man. He's a male feminist. There's no such thing as male feminists. Okay, he's going to have to kiss some serious ass these next four years if he wants to hold on to prime ministership, period. Because wow. obviously Canada, not enough Canadians. Son of a bitch, who was that? That was me, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Obviously not enough Canadians. We're sick of his that. I mean, bloody hell, who am I to talk? I didn't vote. But yeah, it's like Canada was like, you know what? We're not at that point yet where, like, the Americans... Oh, oh right in her fucking face! <laughs> who was that? That was Jimmy. 
I want to see. I want to see the delay. Oh my god, I love it. Injury, extreme pain, no shit. <laughs> Jimmy just belted a woman in the face with him with his ball. <laughs> Do I know Mississauga very well? Only the most known places like Square One. Other than that, no. Now back, number 28, the center field. Look for an antique market to rent a booth space in. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're gonna friggin' get you all move. Move, 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 move. Get home. Oh my god, we're gonna take the lead with that shit. Someone just hit a triple. Who was that? Who just hit that fucking triple? Now that was sent to Nectar. Right, Holy shit. Right <laughs> yeah, I don't know where to look for that. I mean, if I live in Toronto, I would assume Toronto would be a better, best place to look for something like that because it's so. Inside. You know, it's Toronto, so everything has to happen here. Inside. Seven to six. Right. Favorite weed strain. <laughs> well, of all the ones I tried via the Ontario cannabis site site, I think my favorite one was called Kinky Kush because it had uh, high THC levels and it was very inexpensive. It was like the cheapest one. And the THC levels were just high, like up in the friggin' mid to high now 20s. But they don't have it on that site anymore, so yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah. But I will be doing the weed thing during my three weeks off. Son of a bitch! Well, get ready to run home, man. Two outs, you're running home. Go. But <laughs> they threw it to first. <laughs> now we got a comfortable two run lead. Now batting, number 33. Here's Gordon Freeman. That was the pitcher. Damn. Oh, cheeky motherfuckers. Local distributors? Uh, no, I don't know any. And it just it seems more convenient now to just do it the OCS way. I mean, granted, the local ones... I don't know if the locals charge less than OCS. Oh, they got the lead. All right. All right, let's keep this lead. Who's pitching? Braun? Okay, let's get Braun. Let's, let's leave him in and see how he does. If anyone gets on base, we're taking him out. My former co-worker, I used to get it from him before, you know, the weed officially went legal and shit. I haven't uh, been in contact with him for several months because I used to get it via his brother. And he did tell me that, you know, now that the uh, now that it's all legal and shit, his brother ended up raising his prices. That's why I figured, yeah, the street people or whatever probably aren't. Oh, well died by Toronto guy. Probably... Yeah, I'm not charging. I don't know. I'm in London. There's four dispensaries. There's got to be a bunch in TO. I only know of one. Tokyo Smoke, which is located in the old downtown multi-story HMV building. And I went in there. It's very cramped, but they're renovating it. Went in there a few months ago when I went to try to check out the new Chick-fil-A. And there was a lineup around the block. All right. Here's Number Daniel with his home run. 30, the first well done. Game. Yeah, you better be quiet, everybody. Low. Daniel's a hero. You remember the old HM? You remember downtown Toronto? You know, the heart of Toronto, Young and the Eaton Center area on Young Street. There was that big HMV store, which was like four levels. That's where Tokyo Smoke is now. And they're renovating it because I went in there, as I said, a few months back, and it was very cramped. It was like be it felt like being on a 
stock exchange floor. Everybody trying to get the attention of the workers who got the friggin' little tablets to take the orders. It's crazy. But they are renovating to get more space. I wonder if they're gonna go all those four floors. Bloody hell. And I wonder how much friggin' money Cannon has made off, you know, the weed now. Haven't heard nothing about that. You know, it's supposed to friggin' be good for taxes and shit, but I've heard nothing. Not that I've been looking, but... I haven't heard any reports. <clears throat> Everybody was saying, you know, it would be a cash cow. And I'm sure it is, but where's that cash going? There it's gone. Oh, oh, tell me about it, man. That that area of Young Street, all of the friggin' empty friggin' office space there, business space there now along Young Street. Crazy, man. Just sad. And that's what they don't show you in this world-class city, man. There's all the empty business space because it's just too friggin' expensive to run a business in that city. In the main part of the city is what I mean. Friggin' kick the friggin' little dude, all the head shops and shit, gone. A lot of the friggin' porn store is gone. Bloody hell, the world's biggest bookstore. Gone. Torn down. I don't know when, but yeah, it's not there anymore. Oh, man. If I timed it better and aimed it better, shit. Do not run home. You son of a bitch. They got an in the park home run. Holy shit. That is not cool at all. Here's Barney Sanders. God. Zanzibar. I've never been there. But that place is still open though. Yeah, the Zanzibar. I've never been in there. I've only been into one strip club in my life, and it was located in Newmarket. It was called Game Lookers. Time. I went there once, and it was like, I, no, no. It was obviously local talent trying to pay their bills. And I don't even know, like, are there even any big names in stripping now that do the strip club circuit anymore? I mean, obviously there are, the Zanzibar is still open. Yeah, there you go. Well, this is the bottom of the ninth. We're two outs. All right. One more strike, we, we win the game. In the park home run, what an idiot. All right, game over, right? What a friggin' back and forth game this was. But we won anyway. Well done by the ball bus. And you know what? I'll play one more game. Airport ones do better. Let's see where the money is. Yep. But all those businesses closed, man, on that stretch. The more north you go past uh, Young Dundas Square, the more empty business space you see. Oh, Cortar. Two home runs. I think it was her who got the inside the park one as well. Son of a bitch. Santa Necker number two and Orange Man number three, but we won the game. That's all that matters. We'll play one more game and then I'm going to watch Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah. Uh, but downtown Toronto has some pretty okay stuff to look at this time of year, mainly at night. Nathan Phillips Square does that Christmas thing where they put up the lights and they have the, the vendors and shit, and then there's the Christmas market. I tried going to the Christmas market, I think, last year, not realizing that it's best to buy your tickets in advance because bloody hell, the lineup was ridiculous, so I, I was like, fuck that. So I was rent coming down, 
Our landlord's just holding out on two buildings. No idea. I mean, it's going to go up every year. Just depends on by by uh, depends on by how much. But yeah, ultimately, I wouldn't be surprised if I friggin' end up moving out of province. Everybody's fine. Well, who's well? Those days, days well. Fit. Gordon Freeman's still well. well. We'll let him keep playing until it says stop playing anymore. All right, who are we playing now? We're playing the candy asses again. I guess this is going to be a home game for us this time. All right. But there was something put into law recently, I think, by the conservative provincials, I think, this past year. And people are freaking out about it. I don't know what it was exactly, but they were saying that that buildings and shit can increase their rent for new renters. So basically, like what I'm paying now, let's say I were to move out next month. Based on how people were freaking out, it sounded like if I were to move out at the end of this month, they can rent out this place for more than what I'm paying now. I don't know if that's true. I just know that people were freaking out about something. That's why I say, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if I move out of province one day because if that is true, then bloody hell. All of a sudden, rents go to like 3,000 a month for a basic place and shit, all right. What's the friggin' market like in Saskatchewan? That kind of shit, here's Beard Boy. All right, Beard Boy with a nice hit. He should get a double out of this. Is he fast enough? All right, he is. Well done. Here's me to hear it. Most small towns. Cashing out of town real estate. Yeah, it's not cheap, man. Housing market is ridiculous down here. Bloody hell. How can people afford this shit? I mean, the media and politicians would always push that. Toronto is a world-class city shit. And it's like they use that as an excuse to just make things expensive. Nova Scotia bound? Well, maybe even there. Uh, Beer boy fast enough to get home? We'll see. All right. Well done. RBI. Who was that? That was Toronto guy. All right. Here's Jimmy. Good Toronto guy head start. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, didn't Jimmy... Bel yeah, Jimmy freaking belted a pitcher in the face with a ball last game, and now he just got belted in the leg. <laughs> All right. Thomas was it there. Back up the bat. I'd actually... I don't know. I'd, where I'd move, I wonder how much weather would come into factor. Like winter weather. For should I would have moved out of province. Because as much as I would ultimately probably prefer, like, east, I'd probably end up going west. Number eight, the short but west could be more expensive. Son of a bitch. And I'd imagine out, out east is cheaper. Cory Bookworm. You're renting a too small village on the island. Run, 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 run. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. All right, well done. For the interior. Now batting, number 90, the first base. I mean, ultimately, if I had the means... I would like to live in Orlando, Florida, just because... What are you doing? <laughs> because of the Disney shit. I went to Disney World in 2002, and despite going with my ex, I still loved it. So, yeah. Orlando's such a magical place. Great weather. Disney World. Kissimmee. Yeah, that's what it was. Kissimmee. All the mini golf courses. Oh, throw it home. Yeah, 
let them get the second first. Yeah. That was great, man. Now Except going with my ex. The catcher. We'll still get time, man. Ah, nice looking women. Florida. Yeah, that's ultimately where I'd like to live. There's no one running the second tool. Bloody hell, idiot. Just tied the game because I'm an idiot. Here's Christy Chris. I'm busy thinking about freaking Florida women and showing skin. Son of a bitch. Come on, Jimmy. You got this. There we go. Damn. Now batting. And I still haven't looked up Las Vegas shit during my holidays. Not that I would actually go, but just to... I mean, my cat would be fine alone for three days. She's been fine alone for three days during this year when I went to visit family. Simple little two-night, three-day package for Las Vegas wouldn't hurt. I'd have to get a passport, but yeah. Never been to Las Vegas. Or I could just do the cheaper route and go to Niagara Falls. Now it's local. They have a casino. They have Clifton Hill. But it'll be friggin' freezing. <laughs> Come on, man! But I like the idea of going somewhere and staying by myself and staying in a hotel. For just leisure purposes. I did that for the 2007 Grey Cup when the Grey Cup was in Toronto that year. I lived in Newmarket. And for so, and I had Argo season tickets, which gave me access to Grey Cup tickets early. So I got Grey Cup tickets, and it gave me discount on tickets to the Canadian version of the NCAA football final. So yeah, the Vanier Cup. So I ended up getting a hotel in downtown Toronto. Because go bus service to and from Toronto to Newmarket at that time was weak. So I stayed at a hotel on Young Street for like two nights and it was great. They had a, they had a friggin' now Wendy's in the hotel. And I got like triple Baconator friggin' combos like three times that friggin' span. It was crazy. Pay attention, man. There's one out runner on second. Park. I don't have a car, so there's nothing, to, nowhere to, I don't have to park. I would take like a go bus or a, like a Greyhound bus to get there to Niagara Falls, which I have no problem with, because I have an Amazon Fire tablet with a bunch of movies and comic books on it. Plus, I get to just look at the, the local scenery heading down there. I'm not against road trips. So yeah, do something like that. It's going to be cold great strip clubs. As I said, I've only been to one, man. I wasn't impressed. Oh, Beard Boy with a mini jump. All right, we're still tied. Gordon Freeman. Okay, focus, man. we got to keep our playoff hopes alive. Oh. You know, go to a casino and just, just watch people gamble. I like watching people gamble because it just fascinates me. But like, damn, this person's got like a couple hundred dollars worth of freaking plastic round things that they're just betting on with a cards or dice roll. Wow, it's like you could just lose who knows how much money in a, in a couple seconds. They're insane. At least it's not me doing it. Beard boy up the center, and he's going to get out, obviously, because he's a beard boy. But he's a patron of patron.com slash Toronto guy, and that's why he's on his team. Here comes Daniel. Great for people watching? Yeah, man. Son of a crop, balls. Yeah, especially not for the sound. <laughs> oh, my God. I used to wonder why in the news footage of casinos... I would always see old people now with earbuds in while they sat at the slots. The now I know why. Listening to their music so they don't have to hear fucking over and over constantly. Never ending. Now yeah, man, Las Vegas, man. For their casino, for the over. strip, for one of their buffets. And just to see these casinos, just to see it at night. 
Sally would be fine. Three days. Bloody hell, I left her for four days this year to go visit family. So she was fine. I just have to get a passport in the next 30 days. Or so. But I do have three weeks off. It's not like, you know, I have until my holidays start to make a decision. Bloody hell. Yes, thank you for coming. It's been a long time. We'll see you next time. Here on Whose Line Is It Anyway? Seven people here, man. Yeah, everybody's just masturbating. I mean, for all you know, I could be masturbating. You can't see my hands. I could just be messing around. <laughs> all right, let's score 1-1 one, one still. Here's Jimmy for three home runs in one game last season. Toronto guy, of course, did that this season. I don't like this pitcher, these sidearm pitches. Because they pitch low. Now batting, it's almost as if that. At least we're not having blowouts in games. Oh, I would have been faster and died for last year. Said to Nectar, come on, Nectar. Faster, idiot. Who the hell was that? <laughs> I think that was Jimmy. Well, that was, it was either Jimmy or Thomas Mzebbe. Oh. I really should think of putting Nectar in a, or Nectar or Femi in a different spot on the batting lineup because... Having two now fast batting runners batting back to back, I don't know if that's smart or not. Plus, Daniel's fast too. Oh, why didn't I jump for that shit? Look at third. So it's like I have three quick base runners. So it'll probably be smarter to, as far now as batting order, put them like first. The right uh, not fourth. I'm the cleanup hitter. So first, fifth, and eighth. Just to spread it out a little. Well done. Well died by me. Throw it home. Nice try, clown. All right. Here's Sloop Woodity Whoopity again. For stealing. Wrong base! Oh, I, got, I pressed both buttons at the same time. I put, oh, it ended up going to the third, damn it. All right. They're being cheeky on my ass. First base. Probably should have thrown it to third. All right. It was Hillary Clintard, a double. That's right. That's what you get. Let's go fastball in and high. How about fastball out and low? Yeah. Let's go. Slice. Okay, throw up the first. Out. Well done. All right, still 1-1, one, one, man. A great defensive battle going on here. Femi McTeedy back up the bat. She now leads. I, don't, I should have checked that. If she still leads the league in batting average. Oh, come on. Femi. You suck. Here's the now pitcher. Oh, Tarek Smith is the one who's got the no-hitter this season. That was a great game. That was nail-biting. All right, he gets a base hit. Well done. Now batting. Can I put a pinch runner on? Uh, what's the score again? One to one. It's uh, Tarek's a good pitcher. Fine. Come on, Freeman. Let's see if I could get a pinch run around for Tarek and have him steal the base. Oh, forget about it. So I was worried about hitting him do a double play. Well done. Not that we're still out of now batting number twenty, the third base. Here's Beard Boy, patron to patreoncom slash round guy. That's why he's on this team. Come on, Beard Boy. Oh man, swung after. Ah, uh, swung too late. Ah, uh, Beard Boy, run! There you go. You ran. <laughs> All right. Well, 
What are you doing, clowns? Bloody hell. Alexandria Cotard now up to bat. Yeah, the eggnog is feeling even more and more good, man. Got to end this game and win it fast. Fifth inning? All right. All right, run fast, beard boy. Run f Oh. The freaking shadow of the ball went out of frame. I didn't know where the hell this was going. Here's Corey Bookworm. Yeah. How funny is it at the party of diversity? Is damn near out of non pale faces vying for the title shot. That's hilarious. Daniel! Run, Daniel! You're fast. Sometimes. All right, here's Toronto guy, single with an RBI. Number six, the second base. Wasn't going to swing at that. It would have been a ground ball garbage shit. Oh, God. Yeah, that was my fault. I swung too late. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> All right, come on, Jimmy. We're home once in one game last season. Finger slip. Thank God over the ball. Another defensive battle. I like this difficulty. Get some good competitive games going on. Here's Barney Sanders. And you know what? I just thought of something, too, right now. First of all, why the hell didn't that push the button to jump? Second of all, to make up for the fact that it'll most likely be a pale face going against Trump. Don't be surprised if uh, whoever gets the title shot picks a non-pale faced female as their uh, running mate. You watch that shit. Oh my god, Jimmy! <laughs> no. Oh, that would have been great. That went right through. Throw it home. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's... Hurry up. Bloody hell. I gotta figure out the cross... <laughs> the relay people. Now here's Elizabeth TP. Speaking of title shot contenders, Elizabeth TP. Should have thrown it home. Now they're up by two. All right. Son of a bitch. Oh, Tarek, you got a friggin' no-hitter. All right, Freeman. Sounds good about now. Oh. I don't know when I, when I should control the players and not. Bloody hell, here's Thomas. Come on, Thomas. We're down by two. We're up in the seventh. All right. Oh, I thought I had that one. Oh, it's going to fall. Well done, Thomas. You're not fast enough to go to second. All right. Not fast enough to steal either. Sent it. Maybe she can get back into her groove, damn it. Don't want her to hit into a double play. She's a fast base runner. Oh, my God. Gap, well done. All right. Okay, the tying run is now aboard. I believe it was Femi McTitty up next to bat. They're going to walk her. 500 average on the season. They're going to walk her intentionally. Nope, all right. Too high. Why just swing at that shit? Get back to your bases, man. Damn it. Here's the pitcher. He's, uh, what is this? What inning is it? Get him out. All right. Uh, let's give Dick Berger a chance. He's got some power. All right, Dick Berger. Two outs. Runners on first and second. Here's Dick Berger. Oh, Dick Berger, did he just take the lead in the game? Son of a... 
Oh, at least he didn't get out. All right, base is loaded for Gordon Freeman. Holy shit. All right, Gordon Freeman, one for three with a single. Base is loaded. Gordon Freeman is patron. Patron.com slash wrong guy. That's why he's on his team. Come on, Gordon Freeman. Get a grand slam. Do something. Gap. Shit. Oh. Beard boy. One for three with a double. Base is loaded. Two outs. Come on. All right. Looking for that. There we go. Well done. Get it through this way. And Beard Boy with the RBI double ties the game. Well done. We are the best. Here comes Daniel. See if he can give the team the lead. There's two outs. No danger of. They don't have many options. Oh, Daniel just gives the team the lead. Well done. You hear those people cheering? Number six. Alright, Toronto guy. Basement. Let's have Daniel steal. He is fast. Take away their option. Alright. On the gap, Toronto guy is the greatest player in this league. With an RBI double, two RBIs, right? No. Oh well, we still got two runs. <laughs> Alright. Bring in um Nerd Word. There we go. Now what a comeback. Wow. These games, man, they've just been defensive battles. And offensive battles. They've been just battles. Patreon.com slash Toronto guy. So sweet. This clown only has three pitches. Alright. Well, at least he got this clown out. Now batting. Number 19. The pitcher. Who is this? Splits McKinney. All right. <laughs> Only three pitches this idiot has. Come on, man. All right. Good, good, good. Let's do the change up, man. Oh, son of a bitch, man. Sometimes they just now fall on their face when I press the dive buttons. Other times they freaking jump for the moon. All right, sent it. Oh my god, that would have been amazing. Shh. <laughs> Throw it to third. Oh god, now the tying run is coming up the bat for crying out loud. Here's Corey Bookworm. <laughs> Son of a bastard. Now the tying run is on second. There's one out. All right. If they want to play, let's play. Here's Barney Sanders with a triple and a single. This pitcher is garbage. Nerd word? Try to remember that. You suck. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, Barney Sanders is now a single away from the fucking cycle. <laughs> and does he have time to do it? What inning is it? It's only the seventh inning. He does have time. Son of a bitch. This pitcher's garbage. Throw it. Elizabeth TP. Yeah, I think Elizabeth Warren would be in the most difficult position picking a running mate because she picks another woman. <laughs> Come on, man. Number ten. That's gonna. That's that's. She's gonna lose right there for real, definitely. But if she picks up a male of color, be a white woman standing over a black man. So yeah, she's got no chance at all. Because of identity politics. Here's Thomas Bezibbev, two singles. We're losing now. 
In the gap, well done. All right, who's that now? I think it's Nectar. Yep. Now batting number 20. Ah, and there's one around first, and he's slow, Thomas. I don't like giving them the option of the double play. That's two strikes. Come on, man. Too high, and I swung anyway because I thought it was going to go down. Son of a bitch. Here's Fendi McTitty. Oh, I thought they were going to friggin' intentionally walk me. Oh. And the pitcher's up next one in my last at bat. Should it be my last time at bat? Get out of this fucking game. You suck. All right. Get out of here. Let's bring uh, Ramon back. Let's bring Ramon. Here, Rocket Ramon. All right. Come on, Rocket. There we go. Let's do a fastball high and out. That's what you get. Then let's do it. Finish him off with a changeup, maybe. Oh, he got caught. He didn't friggin'. Uh, did he even swing at any of them? Number three. The did he just really three. watch three fucking strikes pass by his eyeballs like a dumbass? down by one, but we only have one more chance. Here's Hillary Clintard. That's right. Scratch your ass and then wipe it on the ball before you pitch to this clown. There we go. Son of a... I thought they would have just picked it up on him. It's all right. Because I, I know if I would have pushed the dive button, they would have dived past it or dove past it. At least I got the options for crying out loud. Yeah, we get Hillary out or this idiot. As long as this idiot doesn't hit too well. All right. Get her out. All right. This is our last chance, man. Down by one. Pitcher coming up. No, he's not. Sorry. Get him out. Uh, who should I bring in? Uh, who got... Con Guy Gold's got good contact and good power. Let's bring in Guy Gold. Now All right. Number 25. Good. Thought so. Oh my god, did Guy Gold just come off the bench and tie the game? Oh, he almost did. But he got a double. Well done. Okay, so we won't hit into a double play. That's good. Gordon Freeman coming up to bat. Time run is now at second base. Can Gordon Freeman hit him home and be the hero? Uh, get back to second just in case, guy. Oh, damn it. I should have, why didn't I run guy to third? I don't know if he was fast enough. Here's Beard Boy. Two doubles. Come on, Beardy. You got guy over to third. Two outs. Daniel's up next. All the pressure is on young Daniel. With two outs, runner on third. Can Daniel tie the game with a hit? Well, he would have if he didn't do that shit. What you gonna do? All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we won two games. Can't win them all. You know, otherwise the streams will be boring as fuck, man. All right. Damn. But well, look, we got five runs in that one inning. How did this shit go? Oh, Tarek, Mr. No-Hitter, got no strikeouts that game. Son of a bitch. All right. Barney Sanders. A beard boy and orange man. All right. Patreon.com slash run. I got loads... Let's at least see what this, before we sign off, see what the standings are and who the, the league leaders are all over the place. And then we'll end the stream, and I shall partake in some eggnog and watch Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yeah. Check out Toronto Guy Cooks, new episode. Toronto Guy, what did that, that sound like? Toronto Guy Cooks. Toronto Guy Cooks, new episode this Wednesday. It is a desserty episode, so check it out. Three ingredient dessert, and it was very awesome. Check it out. Season four uh, of Simulate the Games. 
We're 15 and 4 now. Oh, so look, all the other divisions have picked up, man. Antifa over there. Who's the worst team in the league right now? Uh, Suicide Squad. Yep. 6 and 12. All right. And we are playing the progressives next. The 10 and 8 progressives. Where are they? They are up there first place in the SJW division in the Moron Conference. How are the league leaders? Let's see the league leaders. Femi McTitty is still leading the league. Daniel's still holding on to second. And Nectar. All right. Toronto guy's second in home runs. God damn you, Jackie Slam. Leads the league in RBIs, of course, because I am the king. Uh, on base, slugging. Uh, yeah, that's fine. What hits Daniel? Boo! Stop that! <laughs> uh, extra base. Strikeouts. My people aren't in anywhere on the strike. Oh, no, that's the batters. Who okay, none of my batters have struck out. Well, they have, but not as much as anyone else. Sent to Nectar now tied for first in stolen bases. Daniel right there. Uh, wins. Larry LaJoy is at number one. Whatever that means. Uh, what about strikeouts? Larry LaJoy is just back by three. All right. And there we go. Anyway, patreon.com. There we go. There's your shit. Next stream will be... Well, when I stream this game next time, we'll be playing the progressives. Consisting of, yeah, Chanty Stinks, Rachel Mad Bro, and Don Limey, and more. Check it out. Patreon.com slash Toronto Guy. Give me money because you're not selfish. And we'll see you next time. Don't forget Toronto Guy Cooks. It's a good one this week. Simple. Yeah, check it out. Bye.